In this video, we're going to talk about a different type of notation. It's called set builder notation. Um, set builder notation is used to describe sets of numbers. So domain and ranges are sets of numbers, so we can use it to describe them. It's generally set up uh, using braces to open. Um, and then there's usually a description of what you're talking about. Now I won't talk about all the different ways that you can describe this part of it because we're only going to focus on domain and range today. Um, so for our purposes we'll always see just an X. Oops, that's a horrible brace. Jeepers. Um, or we'll see a Y. And then the next thing that usually comes is a vertical line and that vertical line stands for such that. So when you read it, we're talking about possible x values such that or possible y values such that. Um, and then we'll say x is greater than or equal to our number and we'll close our braces. Or we'll say such that y is greater than or equal to a number and close our braces. So um, in this video, we'll only describe them in this way, although set builder notation has a few more little subtleties to it. Um, and you can look that up if you'd like, or you can wait for my future videos when we describe different sets of numbers. But for now, we're just talking about domain and range. So we'll just use it like that. All right, let's get a graph going. We'll do some examples. Let's use a square root function first. Uh, let's use x, square root of x plus 3. So if we were to graph it, we could visualize the domain. Uh, we know that there's no k out here. We could imply that it's plus 0. So our vertex or starting point is going to be at the hk values of 3, negative 3, excuse me, and 0. So at negative 3, 0, I have my endpoint. I use my cheats to graph my square root functions up 1 over 1, up 1 over 3, 1, 2, 3, and up 1, right 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, so we get to see our square root graph. We'll describe the domain in set builder notation. Open braces x values such that x is greater than or equal to, well, it starts its domain at negative 3 and goes to the right. So it's going to be greater than or equal to negative 3. All my x values, all my domain will be equal to negative 3 or greater than negative 3. Let's describe the range this time all my possible y values well I never go less than zero so y values such that y is greater than or equal to zero those are my possible range values it's gonna be everything greater than or equal to zero so there's our domain and range described in set builder notation and that's all it really is let's try another one Let's do the square root of x minus 2, and we'll say plus 5 for our k value there. So our vertex is going to be a positive 2, positive 5. And I'm going to go up 1, right 1, up 1, right 3, up 1, right 5, so somewhere out there. Describe the domain open braces, x values such that, every single time, x is greater than or equal to, well, the least x values at 2, and then it just goes greater than that. So it includes 2 and greater than 2. So x values such that x is greater than or equal to positive 2. My range values are everything for y such that y is greater than or equal to well, 5. 
So all range values are all y values, including 5 and greater. Those are all my possible values for this graph. So again, domain and range and set builder notation. Um, it's really not any harder than that. Again, we're only using the set builder notation to describe domain and range, although we can use it to describe any set of numbers. Um, and this is really what it'll look like for domain and range for now. All right, good luck using domain and range to describe square root functions. I would use uh, cube root functions, but like we said in our last video, a cube root function will always have a domain and range equal to negative infinity and positive infinity, so there's really no need to use this set builder notation. So we'll only see it for our uh, square root functions. Um, we could have also used it to describe quadratics, um, but not right now. So there you go. Good luck using set builder notation to describe domain and range. Um, and this time it's only specific to square root functions.